Just finished making a bracket for the underside of the tank. Um, this will allow me to lift it up about half an inch when it's in its mounted position um, to give me a little more space to run fuel lines underneath the tank if I need to. Uh, I just used this half inch trim channel. You can buy it in 36 or 48 inch sections. And use these uh, one inch corner braces to attach it and just some screws. Measured everything out. It fits all the way up to where the uh, bolts go that hold the tank down. I bought some new bolts that are a bit longer. Um, yep, yeah, so I'll fit the tank in there and bolt it down here a little bit. Pump is installed. Got the fuel line here that's going to go to the tank. Comes here through the filter, pulls through the pump up, down, underneath the car, into the metal line in the channel. All right, let's go ahead and put the tank in. All right, good morning. So the work is done, I hope. Let's go over what changed. So got the tank back in. Um, I talked about a frame that I put um, underneath the tank to raise it up half an inch. Uh, I got the fuel pump mounted there, uh, line from, from the bottom of the tank comes here to the filter, pull through the pump, down under the car to connect to the, the stock um, fuel line that runs through the channel, that's still there. Um, and I've got the pump wired, it's running through the, the little clips that are built in for the, the wiring harness. Runs up there to uh, a switch on the dash so I can turn it on and off. I just leave it in the on position most of the time when I wanted to be able to manually turn it off. Uh, got all this hooked back up. Just kind of going over a mental checklist right now. Man, she's dirty from sitting for a month. If we get her started up today, she needs a bath. So switch right there um i didn't want to put the the pretty chrome stuff on the back of it i wanted it to look kind of rugged so i just put a super old washer behind it that i had in my collection Ugh, so much pollen and let's see back here so of course rooster's awake uh, mechanical fuel pump is gone. We've got the, the cover plate on it. Installed the pressure regulator with the gauge. Um, I put, oh, running from the, yeah, let's see, from down there up here to the regulator. The line runs up here to the carburetor. I put this uh, thermal material on all the fuel lines. Yeah, so let's uh, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can give it a start. Pretty successful. Um, I did have to adjust the pressure regulator. Um, first time I fired it up, it was sitting around two psi, um, and we need to be around 2.4 from what I've read and heard. So just use a. There's other videos that show this, but I can just point it out really quick. Um, you have to loosen this this nut right here. And then you can use an Allen wrench to turn this um, counterclockwise for uh, bringing the pressure down, clockwise for bringing the pressure up. You just kind of fine tune it while the car is running. 
and then turn it off and lock the nut back in place. Uh, pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wanted to mention that it didn't, uh, didn't come set the, exactly the way I needed it, but that's no big deal. Uh, let's see, was there anything else? Make sure you have extra hose clamps. <laughs> you never have enough hose clamps or you've got a broken one that you can't reuse. And I had to run to the store for a spare. Uh, let's see what else was here. Yeah. I mean, seems uh seems really good um i'm gonna take it for a drive here in a little bit i did want to swap out the uh the shifter which i'll probably do before i drive it but that'll be a separate video yeah wiring was pretty easy um i like that location because i wanted to be able to get access to it if i get if something happens and the pump fries it's another variable and i didn't want to have to get up under the car on the side of the road or potentially tow it you know i can carry it around a spare pump and swap out on the road if i need to hoping that'll never happen but yeah um i think we're good been an adventure let's get back on the road